Easter? Why would you say that? Uh, the uh, Heisenpfeffer ears? Because I decided to be a rabbit today? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because I'm hopping all around. Uh-huh. Falling or <laughs> fell again today. Shh, I did not. You're imagining things. He's imagining things. I didn't fall. You didn't see me fall, so you don't know I fell. Oh, well, then you're just telling me stories now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Well, I get it. Just telling them stories. Okay. Bugs Me 10 said, pause up! <laughs> Welcome to the community! That's all we have. <laughs> Good night! <laughs> My question yesterday was, what is the oddest excuse you ever use to get out of work or school? Here, you can hold that. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I was actually looking for, like, excuses, you know, to play hooky. Yeah, everybody used their... I, I guess, you know, not everybody plays hooky. Yeah. I never did that. Justina C., this is a valid reason, and it's a good reason. I told my boss that I wouldn't be able to come in due to my fertility treatments when I was giving myself injections because near the end of my treatments I'm in a lot of pain. He was very understanding. Yeah, I would say that would be a good reason not to go to work and I'm glad your boss was very understanding about that. Okay, Destiny Swan has a, has a story here and it's not about work. Okay, she has a funny story about missing her hair appointment or being late for her hair appointment. She was at an ATM a couple of blocks away from the salon. And she was at the ATM and she put her card in and the ATM shuts off. Doesn't give her her card back. I freaked out and pulled to the side so I can get out. It comes back on and says to go inside. I looked at the lady behind me and threw my hands up in the air and said, it took my card. I ran inside, leaving my card park, car parked in front of the ATM. I go inside and I, I'm in a panic. I don't know what happened, but ATM ate my card and I have an appointment. The teller looks at me and says, yeah, the lights and the street lights went out. I'm like, what am I going to do? It's my card, honest. The teller says, it's okay, Destiny. We will get you some cash and a new card as soon as the computers come back on. When I got to my uh, hair appointment, I told her, and she was just laughing. When I first told the story, she was like, this sounds so unbelievable, but... She, now she has a funny story to tell of her clients. Groovy. The life of Dana. The oddest excuse I ever used to get out of school was, I can't see. I'm so lame, she says. I'm assuming it didn't work. <laughs> Bella Luna. The worst excuse was actually true. I was leaving for work and I had locked up my house. The car was in the part of the driveway which was behind a locked fence. I didn't have my keys. I had to miss half a day of work until my husband came home for lunch and he let me in the house to get my keys. We had a garage apartment at the house and I spent the time up there watching movies on the VCR. Mom's Vlog 80, Melody Mainville. I haven't worked in 10 years. I can't remember if I called in for a weird reason or not. Hmm. I think you might have called in for memory loss. Or maybe crawling 
around in the middle uh -huh. of the night outside. Joe Schmo, 65 by 2. The best excuse I ever gave to get out of work was that I was going to have an operation to give my wife one of my kidneys. I am proud to say that both her and I are still doing fine. This August will be seven years since the surgery. Well, that's definitely a good reason. The abyss. The oddest excuse I used to get out of school was that I had Seymour Farts disease. And Shalene TV, Shalene TV podcast, the excuse that I use so I won't have to go to work is I'm sick. Ha ha. <laughs> so whether she's sick or not, that's what she says. So what is one of the excuses you use to get out of work or school? Well, I'd say my, probably my favorite excuse is um, uh, traffic. Well, I had a day where the traffic was moving so slow that I didn't get to work. Spent about two hours on the freeway, moved three miles, and just got off the freeway and drove home. I'm going to tell one about school. School? Mm -hmm. I was in elementary school, and I got up one morning, and I did not want to go to school. And I was sitting at the breakfast counter, and I was getting, you know, pretending to eat my cereal, and I was like this, and, oh, Mom, I can't go to school today. I'm sick. And she's like, what's the matter? I, I think I have that fever that's going around. And she's like, what fever? You know, that spring fever that's going around. Get your butt in your room and get ready for school. <laughs> I was young. I didn't know what spring fever was. I heard spring. I heard fever. I didn't want to go to school. I thought it was a good excuse. <laughs> didn't work. I had March <laughs> Madness once. <laughs> okay, my question for today is, have you ever followed a rabbit down the... No, kidding. <laughs> have you ever been to the ER? And if so, for what? My answer is no. I've never been to the ER. It was the rocking pneumonia <laughs> and the boogie woogie flu. <clears throat> that I got after I had the spring fever. <laughs> after spring fever. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Alright. Honk! <laughs> okay, yesterday's question was about from the planet of the apes. Beep! Okay, there is a scene where there is a natural history museum and they kept showing several times this, um, no, it has nothing to do with that. I'm still supposed to be the Statue of Liberty. Alright, so it, um, there's a plaster cast of a foot. So what was that? And it was an old plaster cast from uh, 1956, I think, uh, Forbidden Planet. So, it's nice to reuse some of your old uh, props. Okay, so tonight's uh, uh, question is about one of the, the, the best horror films out there, The Sixth Sense, 1999. I love that movie. There are a lot of stuff that came out in 1999. Bruce Willis and Haley Joel Osment, when he first meets Malcolm, when Cole first meets Malcolm, he says something in Latin. Cole does. What does he say? But, how many people watched that movie and didn't know what was really going on until the very end? There you have it, there's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. 
make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow.